Trading Spaces host Paige Davis was once one of the biggest stars in reality television. But when the show went off the air in 2008, Davis seemed to go along with it. With the hit home decorating show set to make a return to the airwaves, fans are wondering, what's Davis up to these days? Here's a word to the wise. One of the most tricky questions for any actor or actress to answer is, so what are you doing now? Don't worry, Paige, we'll answer it for you. The host with the most. After Trading Spaces ended, Davis kept right on doing her thing as the host of two different shows, Home Made Simple on Oprah's own network and Home and Family on the Hallmark Channel. Neither gig lasted long, with Davis leaving Home and Family after just one season. The reason? According to a press release from Hallmark, Davis had been away from her own home and family too long and wanted more quality time with her loved ones. Aww. All that jazz. Trained at the Meadows School of Arts at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas, Davis's first love has always been theater. Getting her stage start in Austin, Davis then landed a role in the first national tour of Broadway's Beauty and the Beast, where she met her future husband, Patrick Page. And after Trading Spaces ended, she jumped right back into acting, landing the starring role as Roxy Hart in the Broadway production and national tour of Chicago. These days, she's branched out and is even trying her hand at acting on screen. Her only film role to date is in an indie flick called Bondage, where she plays a dominatrix named Miss Terry. Hey, you gotta start somewhere! Corporate Spokesperson In 2008, Davis became the spokesperson for R.C. Willie, a big-box retailer that specializes in furnishings for the entire home. So if you don't already know, I am the spokesperson for a home furnishing company called R.C. Willie. Davis gushed to the Daily Herald, This has been a wonderful gift for me. I love working for them. We're a really great match. This is what I stand for and love in a company. They are family-oriented, they have great deals, they're very traditional but also modern. And that you can get your furniture that same day. That's amazing! Best-selling author Page by page, A Year of Trading Spaces was Davis's 2003 behind-the-scenes recounting of the wildly popular reality show. Written like a diary from the perspective of the perky host, the book was well-received by fans, eventually making its way onto the New York Times bestsellers list for nonfiction. Pretty cool! Blogging all the internets The writing bug must have stuck with Davis because she eventually started a blog on her personal website called Positively Page. Combined with her YouTube channel, Positively Page offers a remarkably open glimpse into the TV and Broadway star's life, covering topics ranging from her thoughts on having children, to going to marriage counseling with her husband, and even to having some dude expose himself to her in a laundromat, and how that caused her to reflect on modern feminism. You never saw that side of her on Trading Spaces. Operation Backpack Seeking to give back, Davis joined the board of Volunteers of America. She became the spokesperson in 2011 for Operation Backpack, which is the largest back-to-school drive in New York City for students who are homeless, according to VOA. More specifically, they fill backpacks with all of the supplies suggested by the Department of Education and donate them to thousands of needy students. Davis told the Daily News, For a lot of these kids, receiving a backpack that is filled with the supplies they need can often be the first time they have had anyone, through that action, say, I believe in you and I believe you can succeed in school. It's so well run, it does such incredible work and really reaches these children to help end the cycle of poverty that they're stuck in. Abscess of Malice In 2015, Davis had to have surgery to remove a blister-like abscess or pseudocyst on one of her vocal cords. She joked around about it on her blog, but it was actually pretty serious and could have derailed her Broadway career if it worsened or was improperly treated. Thankfully, Davis made a full recovery and eventually returned to the stage as God in the off-Broadway show An Act of God. Will she return to the show? With TLC announcing in 2017 that they were bringing back Trading Spaces, the question every fan once answered is, will Davis return to the show? Even Davis herself isn't yet sure. In a statement to E! News, she said, All I know is fans are constantly bringing up to me how much they miss the show. So with TLC bringing it back, there will for sure be a lot of happy viewers out there. Of course, Davis had a somewhat rocky relationship with TLC. After being fired in 2005, she eventually returned to the series in 2008 for the final season, because the show's ratings had dropped drastically without her. So has time healed all wounds? One thing is sure, whatever Davis ends up doing, she's going to be positively perky doing it.
Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.